And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll just bow your heads in prayer, we shall now pray for the governor. Oh, Lord, let the governor have a 17-car accident with a gasoline truck that's been hit by a match wagon over the Grand Canyon. And if that's not bad enough for the governor, let the ambulance that's taken him to the hospital four flat tires let the motor crack let the block bust let the windshield crack let the driver have a stroke and a hemorrhage and run into a brick wall oh lord that's housing nuclear warheads and tnt lord and if that's not bad enough for the governor when he get to the hospital let the doctor be a junk with a gold riddle on his back and a ring of tang in his room and let the hospital catch on fire and let the hospital ceiling cave in on the operating table and let the doctor have a rusty scalpel in his hand oh lord oh Lord, if that's not bad enough for the governor, Lord have mercy, let him be stranded in the Sahara yeah. Desert, 10,000 miles of dry sand, eyeballs bulging, tongue swollen, lips cracked, crawling on his hands and knees, and let him come up on a coo running fruit stand a uh, frosty fruit juice uh, in that hot desert uh, and let them have a black waiter back there lord uh, and like they always have uh, and if that's not bad enough for the governor lord have mercy let lightning uh, strike him in the heart uh, 38 times uh, let muddy water run in his grave and let possums 14 of them suffering from hydrophobia eat through the casket looking for some new meat and make him so ugly until he will resemble a gorilla lord sucking hot Chinese mustard lying across a railroad track with freight trains 22 of them running across his kneecaps and if that's not bad enough for the governor, Lord, make him suffer. Make him live in agony. When he wake up tomorrow morning, oh Lord, let him have nappy hair and be black like me.